calling me back I'm just trying to get closer But you put me closer and closer For me you're like over and over Cause you keep calling me back Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle. Welcome or welcome back, you guys. So, as you already saw the title of this video, we're going to be doing another story time. But this time, I'm going to be telling you guys how I got suspended in high school. But it was when I was back in Liberia. I had so many story time of me being in school in Liberia. Like, it was just such a vibe. Like... <laughs> It was. I got in so much trouble. It's crazy to look back at now. And I'm just like, wow. It's just wow. <laughs> but it's funny. And I feel like I should do that while I get ready to go to a party. So I'm about to do my makeup. And so I'm going to tell you guys, like, the little story time. Some of my friends back in Liberia, if they see this video, they're going to know exactly the moment the, that I'm talking about. But basically, I got suspended. I got whoop in front of the whole school. But that happened multiple times. We're not going to get into that. It's, it's okay. It, that's, a, that's a breeze. <laughs> but, and I also hire or, like, pay somebody to pretend to be my mom. Oh, my God. It's so funny. I am not going to be telling you guys um, what product I'm using. I'm just going to show you guys because I make too many um, makeup videos already. And if you guys are interested in seeing that, you can go ahead and watch it. I'm going to link one of it on this video if you wanted to see it, if you want to see a makeup tutorial. But if you guys want more makeup videos, let me know. I got y'all. I don't got no problem doing a little beat here and there, okay? So, I owe this little chit-chat. Let's, let's just dive straight into this video. Let me get my products ready and then we can, we can tell the story. Alright, so I changed the angle a little bit. But anyways, besides the point. So... If you don't know, I'm from Liberia, West Africa, and usually, if you're from Africa, I feel like this this applies to every African country. You know we wear uniform in high school, and you know how straight African parents are. If you ever had an African parents, if they tell you, an uh, African parents or African friend, if they ever tell you, my parents are straight, or my parents don't let me do this, my parents don't let me do that, believe them, okay? So... Long story short, the school that I went to at the time that this incident happened, because the reason why I said the school I went to at the time, I changed school a lot, but uh, that's a story for another day. But basically, the school I went to, um, the owner of the school was my dad childhood friend. Please do not talk about my edges, y'all. I need to do my makeup first before I do my edges. That's just me. But anyways, so... The school that I went to at the time, my dad, childhood friend, owned the school. So, just know that means he's going to be extra straight on me very much. So, um, long story short, the school was a good school, like very much good, but the student was bad. When I say the student was bad, they was bad. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, I was one of them. But basically, um, every Friday, we used to call it Super Friday or Black Friday. If you know, you know, okay? If you know, you know. If you, if you hear Super Friday, I'm looking over here because my mirror is right here. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, when you hear Super Friday, just know we're about to get turned up, okay? So, of course, my dad didn't never let me go to Super Friday. He never let me go to... Um, Black Friday is the same thing, by the way. If I if I, you hear me say Super Friday, Black Friday. So that basically means you go into a beach and there's a party at the beach. And it's most likely every Friday at the beach, there's a party. So long story short. So this one day, I wanted to go to the beach so bad. And like always, um, I got to school. Usually when it's Friday, uh, I don't uh, wear shoes for some reason i used to wear a little sandals and you're not supposed to wear that obviously we used to wear uniform in school um i'm gonna try to find old pictures if i don't i'm gonna try to ask friends or something but we used to wear uniform in school and sometimes they used to do inspection at the door and when i say inspection that means they're gonna look at your uniform to make sure everything is right to make sure you have the right button on your shirt this and that and the third but that day, anyways, it was not happening. But 
got to school or whatever. We didn't even went. We didn't even go in the building. That's how bad it was. We just meet up at school, meet up in this one spot that we all discussed. And my class was very united. When I say my class was very united, that means that if one person go down, everybody go down. But it was just this one kid in our class. When I say this one, it's always that one kid. This one kid in our class who can snitch for Africa. <laughs> he know how to snitch, bro. He always would tell everybody business. But Loki, um, I hear that he's bad now. Like, he started going out with them and stuff like that. But my class was very united. Everybody pretty much get along and, like, communicate with each other and all that. And this is how you know my class is united. If there's a fight in my class, we're going to lock that door. Y'all are going to fight. And we're going to open the door when you're done. That specific day, we meet up or whatever. And usually, we put clothes in our bag per usual just because uh, we wear uniforms so we will change when we get to the school and go to the beach so we went to the beach we had a blast okay i i remember exactly what happened that day but it was so fun we had so much fun at least i did and so boom we went back to school well i guess the whole school found out about the party so every freaking body went to that party and when i said everybody the building was empty now i wasn't there so i can't tell you how empty it was but i heard it was very much empty till the, even the school noticed that everybody was gone and tried to find out where everybody was and they found out everybody went to the beach so that's how we, we got in trouble so now they started taking attendance like when the attendance become a thing like when so they started taking attendance so they took everybody name down that was in the school i guess and then of course my dad got a call but my dad wasn't around so he didn't get the call thankfully so when i went to school the next day saw my friends or whatever and we all met um to the same spot again we then we heard the story like oh we're about to get suspended for everybody who didn't go to school like, so even if, like, trying to think about it now, so what if we actually, I actually was sick, like, and I didn't go? I guess my parents could have go to testify that I was home, and it would have been fine. But it's just, like, if your parents don't go to testify or they know that you wasn't in school, you will be in trouble, basically. So, boom. We got to school. They called us in the office, and they gave our letter to us. The letter basically said we have one week suspension and the last day we have to bring our parents or like whoever we stay with, parent or a guardian or whatever. So obviously I cannot tell my dad that I'm suspended because uh, first of all, why am I not in school? That's the first question. Second of all, like it just, it can't happen. You know, I can't tell my African dad that I'm suspended. What? Who does that? So obviously I'm going to get dressed like every normal day, get dressed and go directly to school and I like nothing ever happened. So for the past few, the past week, I will get dressed, go to school, meet up with my friends because some of them have really strict parents too. And some of them, they could, they, their parents was not like okay with it, but they could tell their parents what was going on and they can stay home. But I have a few of my friends that we would just meet up at the school and we'll just chill there till it's time for us to go back home. And then we just go back home. And mind you, I would have to stay there longer or have to go to one of my friends' house just because my dad put me in this little study session. I think uh, it's a call, we used to call it study class. But it's like, it's like just like the name sound. You basically will stay after school for like extra time learning. And it costs more money, of course. But I feel like I didn't even need that. But my dad did not want me to stay at home so bad. That's why he signed me up for that thing. But I did not like staying after school. But regular time for us to get out of school was like 1.30 or like 1 o'clock, I think, or 2, if I'm not mistaken. And then I leave. And then I stay after school till like 4 or 5. So, yeah. And so I would come to school, basically go either to my friend's house or just stay around the school building, like something. I always have something to do, though. Just stay around till it's time for me to 
go home and I go home and I, I like nothing ever happened. This went on for a full week till Friday. So um this there is always that nosy auntie, not even auntie, like that nosy person that like just tell all your business. So I guess she know my stepmom and she told my stepmom that I haven't been going to school. So when I went home, my stepmom was like, why you haven't been going to school? You, you, you got dressed dress and go to school every day. So you haven't been going into school. And I was just like, no, I, I have. And I, I just basically lied. And then my stepmom didn't really think nothing of it. She just, she knew it was one of them, like people just talking, but she wasn't just talking because she was talking truth, but like I deny it. And my parents were so busy like, they barely used to go to my school for anything. They didn't go for no PTA meeting, no nothing. So, because also, they didn't even have to really go because my dad, childhood friend, would always call home or stop by the house to come eat and tell everything. <laughs> but, yeah, so, um, the last day, they were like, you have to bring your parent. So, me and, my friend had, me and my friends had this idea to go to the local market. It was down the street from my school. We walked to the market, and we looked for people to come pretend to be our parents. So, we did, and I found somebody to be my mom. <laughs> so, we got to the marketplace or whatever, and we saw these people. And I don't remember word for word what we actually really told them, people to make them come. So remember I said the that my cha, my dad childhood friend was the owner of the school. Remember that. So I don't even know what made me think that I was it was gonna work. Mind you, I was in seventh grade, if I'm not mistaken, seventh or sixth grade. I know I was too young. I know I don't got no business doing what I was doing. Just listen to the story. Don't come give me life lessons. I know I realize and that I'm I'm older and mature now, okay? Don't come give me life lessons. I just think it's funny to tell now. I know what I did. And I realized my mistake. I already been apologized to my dad. I don't even think he even remembered that. But anyways, so yeah, so we met these people. I saw this older lady and I begged her. I think I was just like uh told her what happened and how I'm gonna get uh in trouble, da da, and I pay her. I think I pay her like hundred dollars, Liberian dollars, by the way. Not you, <laughs> maybe I ain't that rich, but yeah. And so when I got to the school or whatever, me and my friends got to the school. They took their fake parents to the. Um, mind you, some of my friends actually brought their real parents, but you know, us who could not bring our real parents, we had to substitute for that day. <laughs> and so, um. The lady that I said she ran her she ran her mouth too much and she told my stepmom and when she she also she told my stepmom that um they needed us to bring our parents and basically she told her, my stepmom that I went to go find a fake parent and my stepmom actually met me at the school and I didn't know she was gonna be showing up so when I saw her I told the older lady to leave or whatever and so. My stepmom went inside, and the principal was inside. And I was like, I don't even know why I taught the principal, which is the owner of the school. I, well, I don't know why I thought he was not going to be there. But if he was going to be there, he know my parents. There was no way he was going to be accepting that that's my parent. So they called my dad. Everybody knew that I got suspended from school, but the suspension was already up. When I got home, when I got home, Baby, you don't want to know what happened to me. I, th I don't even know how I'm still alive. That's how bad it was. When I got home, my, my butt was about to peel. Like, my dad beat the living dead out of me. You don't think I would realize my mistake after all that beating he gave me? <laughs> my dad beat me. I don't even, like... <sighs> African parents can kill children. Why their life? Bro, my dad beat me. And I know I deserve everything now. So I don't really want nobody coming in my comment telling me nothing. Please, don't start with me. I know I realized everything. I was wrong. All that good stuff. And I understand what my dad did now. Even though I was mad at him for so long about that. But, yeah, my dad beat the living day out of me. So the next day we got to school. Um, they made an announcement in, in the school. Like, everybody who went for the 
Black Friday or whatever was going to be getting in front of the whole school. Yeah, baby, in front of the whole school. Mind you, me and my little friend group was little hot girls or whatever. We told was all that in high school. And yes, in Liberia, I don't know about other country, but from 7th grade to 12th grade, it's high school. Um, and then usually other schools will have like this, the lower grades in the same building, but it doesn't count as like high school. I don't know what to call it, but it's basically not high school. But yeah, and so, and baby, they beat the living dead out of us in front of that whole school and we got so much punishment. Um, it was just crazy. All right, you guys, my makeup is pretty much done. Look at the beat. Like, it is giving, okay? Like, no filter, as always. It's giving brats, doll. That's the goal. Every single time. Either to look like a bright doll or a Barbie doll. Yeah, but today's giving bright doll. But anyways, back to the story. But um, my dad found out and I got whooped real good when I got home. And then the next day, my dad took me to school. Because of this incident, my dad went and purchased a bike cycle. Because that's the typical transportation in Liberia. At least the easiest. And... He went and, um, I forgot. I didn't even show you the product throughout this whole video. But, oh, well, it is what it is. But, um, he, he purchased a bicycle. And I remember this boy that used to, he's not really, he's like a family friend. And he's, he used to always help around the house and stuff like that. And my dad used to pay him because he ride bicycle too. But at the time, he wasn't riding bicycle. And my, I remember my dad paying him. Uh, not paying him, but to ride the bike on the street to make money for transportation. And he also have to take me to school and pick me up. And, yeah, I feel like that's the reason why my dad purchased that bicycle. Just because he didn't want me to get away. But, baby, you really think I didn't find a way? <laughs> Best believe that did not stop me at all. I did. I have fun. That's all I can say, man. I have fun. I have some stories to tell my kids when they get older or when I have some. But, yeah, I have fun in high school. And I really don't think I'm going to be the type of mom to, like, I, like, I was so perfect in high school. I was so perfect in school in general. Like, you know them parents, like, you never really know how your parents were because they always tell you, I was a straight A student. I never did this. I never did that. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Like, you tell me you never skipped school. You never did this. Not like, I don't be believing it. You don't hear it from me, though. Mm-hmm. Yo, I've been drinking so much water all day. That's good. Because I'm trying to get back in the gym. But lately, it's been snowing so bad. So, I haven't been, I haven't had the chance to get back in the gym. But this week, I'm going to try to. So, yeah. But that's pretty much the end of this little story time. And this little beat. I hope you guys like it. I'm about to make some TikTok. And I might post it on YouTube short. On YouTube short. If you want to see it, it's most definitely going to be posted there. I'm in the process of uploading a video right now. So I'm about to go check on there to see if it's done. But thank you guys for all the love and all the support. Make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. We are almost have 500 subscribers. The overall goal for this year is 1,000. I'm always going to remind y'all because I know I believe in God. I believe in y'all. I believe in, like, we're going to get there. Just believe. Period. But yeah, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram. Both my Instagram will be on the screen. If you don't know, yes, I do hear in news. I've been slacking a little bit, but we're going to get there. Yo, while I was in the process of editing a video a few minutes ago, I just realized um, I just lost my uh, cooking video, one of my cooking videos. Because I had made two cooking videos, one making Liberian jello fries and another one making um, cassava leaf. And I just lost the jello fries video. I'm so sad. I'm going to check on my computer and try to find it, but if I don't find it, I'm gonna make another one just to show you guys like how good our jello fries is because we have the best jello fries, period. I said what I said. Don't argue with me, go argue with the word because I know they know they be acting like they don't know, but they do know. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, let me get ready. 
um no let me go finish editing first before i get ready but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all <laughs>